Well, that's as silly <laughs> as saying, I don't believe in Henry Ford, I believe in the law of internal combustion. It's a complete failure to understand that the God explanation is not the same as the science explanation. What he said there was, I don't believe in God, I believe in science. He's thinking that they're the same kind of explanation, but they're not. Let's take the, an easy example. Why is the kettle boiling? Well, it's boiling because heat from the Bunsen burner has gone through the base of the kettle by conduction. It's agitating the molecules of water. They're moving faster and faster. That's why it's boiling. No, it isn't. It's boiling because I want a cup of tea. <laughs> now, you're laughing. Why? Because you see the difference between a scientific explanation and a personal agent explanation. And if I said those two explanations conflict or contradict, you'd say it would be ridiculous. You need both. So what he's suggesting on the screen is the basic nonsense that's permeating the academy as well as popular culture to think that God is an explanation as opposed to science as an explanation. And it's like, as I say, saying, I prefer the explanation of Henry Ford to that of internal combustion automobile, ex, um, automobile engineering. You need both sides to give you the full explanation. That is why it is completely false to say that science, at its level of explanation, conflicts with the God explanation. It doesn't, it complements.